All right, let's go see what Amanda's up to now. This is our lovely container. It's where we keep our valuables, our most prized possessions. Roofing material, really. Knock, knock. Hey. Anybody home? Just me. Brought you your pins. I really need some help today. You do? Can you help me? I got some previews scheduled here in a little bit. What do you need? I, this wall is falling down and I need somebody to help me secure it. What would you like to talk about? I have to help you. You do, so you have like 10 minutes. Yeah. Hi, how are you? Good, just setting up the office. Cool. Yeah. So our wall's falling down. <laughs> yes. Our framer shorted, our demo guy shorted, mm -hmm. And then our excavator came out and had to move it. The one that we got flashing on? That wall? Yeah, that wall? That wall's coming down. Okay. It needs to stay up. Oh, so yeah, it sure is, huh? I need another two, hopefully two on this side. Uh huh. Two braces like that. I don't know where we're going to put it to, but we got to figure it out. Okay. But today I already met with another demo guy. We're going to get all the wiring and the plumbing taken out of the crawl space. Okay. Put a call into the septic guy to see where he wants us to cap it off. And then um, had another meeting with another mason, um, specifically about, well, the exterior, but this, you know, this, um, i show you this, this is cool. I got a new rendering of the great room. Yeah. Which is awesome. But what's not awesome yeah. is the size of what I'm limited to on the size of the fireplace. Mm -hmm. This is not acceptable to me. What's that? The fireplace? Yes. I mean, it's 25 feet tall and this is the biggest fireplace anyone will sell me. So for the same price or less, we can custom build it and then we'll have it open on all three sides. Mm -hmm. And it will it should be at least this tall. I mean, it should be at least seven feet tall. I mean, that's 25 feet to the ceiling. That's itty bitty. It needs to be huge. Right. So I met with a mason guy today to talk to, we need to custom build that. And this isn't a TV room. We don't have to worry about, oh, well, where's the TV gonna go? It's too high. Because this is the soundproof family room theater right here. So you don't need to have a TV in here. You need to have a big, <laughs> you need to have a big fireplace. Good thing we have editing for that. Yeah. But anyway, what do you think of it? I like it. I like it. That's not my stone. Here's my stone. There's my stone. That's nice. Yeah. It's got some real depth to it. Yeah. Okay. It looks great with the floors. All right. Well, let's go take a look at the wall and see what we can figure out. Thank you, baby. Owly! <laughs> He's still with us. <laughs> He's Since like our beginning. <laughs> he's like our, our mascot. Our <laughs> it's falling down, baby. I need help. Yep, sure is. So I'd like to see. I'd like to see. Look at this. I'd like to see one here. So it's super windy today. And there's uh, there's our crack that's forming. Dang, it's bad. It wasn't there a day ago. Look, the wall's bending. We gotta get this short up. Yeah, for sure. Here, God, take windy. a picture of me like this. I'm a newscaster. Well, oh, today it's really windy. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. It's so windy. It is really windy. Uh, yeah, so do you want to hear what I learned? Yeah, what you got? So, we want to pay as much attention to disability accessibility as we can, right? Yeah. And so, stamped colored concrete, so pretty. Well, it's very slick, slick, slippery. And so what if rather than the, sa the stamped concrete, we do sand finish that is coarse and so it's not slippery, okay. but it still has the same aesthetic. You can still color it. And so what we're looking at is rather than doing the stamped concrete, which is pretty, is taking consideration to the safety level and making it the sanded finish. Um, it'll still look aesthetically pleasing, but it's safer. Okay. So uh, that's what we're gonna do. Okay. Okay. Cool. Bye. Bye. I'm gonna go address the wall now. <laughs> Thank you. Sure 
is windy today. It's not totally straight, but should hold it in this crazy wind we're having. All right, well, that's up. Thank you. Good? Yeah, you want to see where my foundation got cut and it wasn't supposed to? Sure. <laughs> okay. So, when we were cutting out this foundation wall, uh, which we were supposed to per the plans, Looks like they accidentally got that corner. They're gonna have to put it back. <laughs> I wonder what it looks like down there. Let's go find out. I told myself I wasn't gonna get dirty today. Oh, you're at Park Lake, baby. <laughs> yeah, well, I scheduled some previews to go check out. Nice. So I, this is called a continuous footer. And this is the foundation wall. Anyway, this was supposed to stay in place. <laughs> and it didn't. And it didn't. So. The good news is, is our floor joists are in amazing shape. So that's fabulous. Right. And it's dry as dry can be. So good. also good. And this is under the house. So we're keeping all this foundation then. The pads. Yeah, yeah, so those are called pad footers. Right. And we're adding more. Okay. Because we're adding a few more beams. Awesome. Okay. But we do have a demo crew coming in tomorrow to get out all the uh, old plumbing, wires, sewer, everything. So this will be cleaned out tomorrow. Sweet. Yay. All right. We're gonna go check out some properties in Boulder. design on this house is really something else. It's pretty cool. I hate to see a nice expensive home sit on the market for a long time, but I think they'll get it sold. Right, looks like we're here 
at the next one. I do love it when they leave the booties here for you.